Welcome everyone to Rare World Coins. Hopefully you're getting some nice valuable information on my previous videos and hopefully th that information is helping you out in your collecting world coins or US coins. Uh, today we have a coin from Canada. This is a very popular coin. This is uh, a 1936 dollar graded NNC 63. Uh, these three started in 1935 and continued on till 1966 and continued further on till presently uh, as commemorative coins. So they vary in size, but mostly from 1935 to 1966, they are in 800 fine silver. So they have a lot of silver on the coin. Good size, popular size coin that a lot of people collect. Canadian coins, U.S. collectors collect that, and European collectors. So here we have is a popular 1936. This is the second year of issue coin with King George V. Very popular design. Let's take a closer look on the coin. So what we have here is a nice lustrous coin with very nice detail. This is graded NNC 63. And like I said, when you buy coins in a slab, buy the coin, not the slab. So this one here, you'll note that it has, has some contact marks in the front of the face and also in the back, but it has nice overall luster. It is a nice, brilliant coin, very nice detail. Uh, the areas that you'll look for is the eyebrow, the hair, the mustache. Those are the high points of the area along with the crown. And of course, this particular area here, on the dress where the ribbon is located. Those are the high points of the coin. And as, uh, you know, used widely, these are the areas that will wear down first, especially the chain of jewelry here. This will start to fade. So getting one that is nice, lustrous on the field and shows these detail is what you're looking for in the coin. On the reverse, you have the canoe, a very nicely struck coin with uh, the Indian and a frontiersman uh, paddling with the canoe. And of course, the year 1936, nice luster throughout the coin. Uh, what you're looking for is the strike in the center here. Normally, this area here is the first area of wear, and it's sometimes also the weakest area that is struck. What you're looking for are these parallel lines on the canoe. And of course, you should see the bundle with HB for the initials of the designer of this particular coin. But overall, you know, you want to get a nice, brilliant coin. Uh, be wary on coins that are heavily bagged marked or uneven toning. Try to avoid those coins. Uh, these are very popular coins by World Coin Collectors. And if you can get them in higher grades, in 65, 67, definitely you will be paying a higher premium. Rare coins on these particular dates. So look for these coins, and if you come across it, and if they are very uh, wonderful with lustrous field, sharp detail, consider maybe putting them aside for your collection. Again, this has a few abrasions in the front and on the back but overall it is a nice choice uncirculated coin hopefully this information will help you out and guide you to collecting canadian coins if you like the information and in detail video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you very much